<laughs> hey, y'all, come look at this. It's, it's simple. It's so it's simple math. Okay, son. You know this. Listen, son. The answer is five. So if Johnny got two apples and his friend gave him three apples, how many apples do he get? Twelve. Oh, listen, I, maybe you ain't hear me. I say the answer is five. So how many shapes is that? One you don't recognize, then another you do recognize. How many shapes is that? Only one shape. So, ontologically, Allah is immaterial, correct? Immaterial, in, in a linguistic way. If you're using, if you're comfortable with that language, so I would tell you that. Well, well I mean, it's, it's either he's immaterial or he's physical. That, those, are so the two, told, those are the two. I told aspects. you that. I told you that if you're saying, for example, that our consciousness is immaterial, my body is material. Can, us, can Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be compared immaterial in a sense to my consciousness? I'm saying no. If, you, if you're saying, can he, he, he can he become... Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Because he is the creator. And I told you, I, I don't know whether you're not grasping it or my language is not that good. And I'm telling you over and over again and again that he cannot be compared with any way, shape or form with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But whenever you're using language, a language is different. Yeah. It's like, and it's I'm like, also granting you that thing, for example, hold on, I'm also granting you that. When you say these things, it's like you're not communicating anything to me. So it's, it's as if Allah is completely unknowable. He's completely unknowable and completely unrelated. You don't know what he is. You don't know what he says. He, he has these things, these attributes and stuff like that, and uses these words that we understand, really, but he doesn't mean it in the way that we know it. So he's not really saying anything to us. We don't, you don't know anything about Allah. So like when you say, I'm asking like something like as simple as, is your God material or is he immaterial? The quick, the, the easiest answer, it should have been, yeah, he's immaterial. But because other things in creation are immaterial, you have a struggle with answering this because then that will make him, that would make him similar to created things that are immaterial. You know what I'm saying? So this concept, it's 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 not practical. Bro, well, I, I I know that you you didn't know the point. I told you many many times, and also again, if you're asking me several times more, and this is my answer, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala cannot be compared, cannot be compared with the creation. Again, in the creation, I have immaterial things like like consciousness. In the creation, I have things like my body, but the creator cannot be compared both with my immaterial or material things. But if you're saying use a language, so I'm going to use a language, then okay, you're saying he's immaterial. That if you are comfortable understanding the point, then I'm telling you immaterial. Go ahead. Okay, so we know what immaterial like these words have meanings, right? Yes. So we know what immaterial means. It means non-physical, non-material. You can't feel it, touch it, see it with your senses. You can't grasp it or observe it with your physical senses. It's immaterial, yep. right? But so that's the same with Allah. Allah, you can't see him, touch him, feel him, smell him. You can't observe him with your physical senses and your physical reality. Yes. Therefore, he also is immaterial. Just like, uh, my, yeah. just, like my, just like my mind is immaterial, just like the mm -hmm. laws of logic are immaterial and concepts yep. and things of this nature. So we can make certain comparisons and relations to Allah. He has commonality with creation. Yep. So commonality then, in a linguistic form. Still the commonalities what do you, what do you where you mean by in a linguistic form because these these meanings are applied to these concepts. Like they, they have actual meaning. So Allah yeah. is immaterial in the same sense that my mind is immaterial. Yeah. So uh, in a linguistic way that I'm telling you, that is, for example, I explained that to you again. If you have a pen and paper, you can write it down. I think you can write it down again and again. It's just what you're saying. It's coming like this. No, no, no. It's I, coming I, I, I understand everything you're going saying, going. Omar. Just what you're saying is, is not practical. This is why you're like, when I ask yeah. is you immaterial, you say, well, in a linguistic form. What, what, is it, what the heck does that mean? That that, that, that that means nothing. Are you so? The, why why it, it doesn't mean anything? It has because it has a meaning. It has a meaning. Has a meaning. So, so, so your mind, your mind is immaterial. 
My oh. mind, my consciousness is immaterial. Yeah, your consciousness is immaterial. Yeah. Allah is also immaterial. Yeah, but that cannot be compared both because one is the creator. My consciousness is uh, my, my consciousness is created, and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is uncreated. Is but, they going be, but, they be, but they can be compared. They can be compared in the sense that they are both immaterial. So there's yeah, there's in a language, in a language, using a language, using the meaning of the word. Yeah, using a language. Okay, is so that too both hard? immaterial? So okay. So yeah, now you, going to the essence, right. now going to the essence and characteristics, my right. consciousness is created and right. Allah is with you. I got you. Is are, that are, angels, are angels immaterial? Angels, they're material and also immaterial. For example, they can change form. They can appear in a human being, right? Like a human form. But can, still, they are created. Can Allah, can Allah do that? Yeah. Can Allah do that? No, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is tell. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala becomes like a human being, then he is God and not God at the same time, like your God is. Like, for example, let me just give you an example. That is logically impossible because God, uniquely one God, if he becomes a human being, then he is created and uncreated at the same time. He is knowing and not all knowing at the same time. He is, for example, uh, dependent and undependent and independent at the same time, which you know, like uh, hypostatic union is, which is a contradiction in your hand. Okay, so yeah. angel Allah does not go against what logically cannot be done. For example, God cannot be created. That's a common sense. I got you. I got you. Yeah, so an on. angel, an like angel like can take. Like you you answered like the question. So an angel can okay. take on the form of a human. Yes, yeah, still created. Does the when the angel takes appears in human form, does he become human? Or is he still no, human? no, no. But the same things, the so same thing is so it doesn't take on the nature of oh, hold, on. hold on. So when Allah subhanahu when speaking about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that is uncreated. The angel is created. So the angel is created. Okay. The angel is created. That has the angel has the same knowledge, the same thing, the same attributes, but changing a form, changing a form. He is still the angel is still a created thing, but change the form. Like the jinn. angel has the same the same attributes as a human. No, no, no. I didn't say that. Okay, okay. So when it, when an angel takes on a human form, do they be do they become a human or are they still an angel? Change in form, only change form. So, that, but they're still an angel. Yeah. So they don't become human; they just appear as a human. Yeah, they become as a human being. They they, they appear right. as a human. Being. We said Changing the form of shape. They don't okay. become right. a human being. Okay, good. Human good. Being, okay. Yeah. Understood. Understood. Okay. Yeah. So angels can appear in human form without becoming human. Can Allah appear in human form without becoming human? On the day of judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will empower us to see him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not yes. just remember the five D's of dodgeball. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and Die. No, that, that's the thing. That's the thing that is mentioned in the Quran. And so, look, pay attention. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make us see him on the day of judgment. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not become a human yeah. being. Bro, come on, this I'm is the sure. answer. Listen, listen, listen. Hear me out. Hear me out, please. Please. Okay. Mm -hmm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will empower us to see him on the day of judgment. He will not yeah, change right. to a human being. He will not change his form. He will not change to anything. That's the point. Sure. He will, yeah, he will empower us. That is mentioned in Surah Al-Qiyamah that Ila Rabbi Nazira. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. They will be looking at their Lord. That is, we okay. will see Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So, so you, so you don't know that Allah. So you don't know that Allah takes on a shape. Excuse me. What, what's the question? I'm, I'm not understanding your point. What do you mean? Know that, Allah, that Allah takes on the shape? No, that belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How he does that, that's belonging to, to that day. Not no, revealed. I didn't, how, I didn't say how he does it. I said, did you know that Allah will take on a shape? A shape? Yes. So no, that's not how it works. There was there is one only one example. The companions of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Uh, Allah, uh, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "You will see your Lord, Allah subhanahu wa taala. Do you?" And he was pointing out to uh, to the moon that, "Do you? Do you? Can you see? Yeah, can you see the moon? Do you have any difficulty?" And they said, "No." 
And he equated the example like a way to let them understand yeah. that you will see Allah as clearly as you see the moon, as clearly as you see the sun, you'll see Allah, you'll see your Lord. Yep. And then he, I, have, I have that hadith right here, it's Sahih al Bukhari 7439. <clears throat> and then it says, it says, um, hold on, hold on, let me, uh, let me read up a little bit. The Arabic says, Shay. Oh, you know the hadith, Omar? Okay, that's fine. Thank you so much, Omar. The Arabic doesn't say shape, it says it's, form. It says what? S says form. Yeah, the Arabic so, says form. Well, actually, the Arabic is actually image, to be more precise. It's image, but I'm cool with that because they're all interchangeable. Okay. Shape, form, image. So Allah will appear in a form. Form. Allah right? subhanahu wa ta'ala will, will let us see him. And right. what's but, but, his but majesty, it's not, right? But it's not just that. What is he appears, his majesty? But it's not, it's not just that. He appears in a form. In a form, correct. And it says that in a form that what's they befitting? recognize. What is befitting his majesty? No problem. But it says that the form that they recognize. Yeah. That is so, what is befitting his majesty. And also the true believers, the Mormons, the Muslims, inshallah, with the Christians become Muslims, they will also see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in that form, what is befitting his majesty. I, I got you. So okay. they will be seeing Allah in a form, though, that they recognize. Allah how, is it, how is it that these Muslims or these people, because also it's the hypocrites too, it's not just the believers, but it's also the hypocrites that's with them that they will see Allah in a form that they recognize. Befitting his majesty. I'm sorry? What is befitting his majesty. No problem. How is it that they can, that creation, these humans, will see Allah in a form and that they recognize this form? Yeah, what is befitting his majesty? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give the power in order to let them understand their Lord and how he befits his majesty. They will see Allah. How, how is it that the humans recognize this form? How and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants the power to the human beings. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give the power to see him, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will introduce how is no, befitting. But, but, but it, says, it, has not, it has nothing to do with God giving them power, it has everything to do with their comprehension and what they recognize and what they don't. Because yeah, so, so how so how is it that they will recognize this? So to recognize means that there's something in your mind that you're familiar with. When you recognize so Allah 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 power, the people, the people will not be without knowledge. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised his meeting with the creation with the human beings, like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will uh, allow the human beings, the human beings, and he will empower and he Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give the knowledge to them to understand their creator. But it, it doesn't say that. Form, but, but that it, form, it doesn't say that. It doesn't say anything about him giving them enlightenment or like so how, some type of revelation. How they would understand it. It just says that it just says that Allah will come to them in a form that they recognize. Yeah, so they recognize, so they have the understanding, right? They will understand, yeah, and that's the the form. Form. no, they recognize that the would, form. Yeah, so recognizing something, recognizing something is dependent on the knowledge. If you do, if you don't right. have the knowledge, right? If you so don't how, have the knowledge, how, how do they have? How do they have the knowledge of this form that Allah is coming in? If Allah is completely unlike creation. And completely other than to where they, there's nothing that they can even recognize when it comes to Allah. How is it then that he's, he's coming to them in a form that they recognize? In a form, they will have the knowledge. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will em em empower them at that point. Empowering them. Giving. It doesn't say that. Bro, how, how they will understand him. Exactly. It is definitely when they it understand him. They will have that knowledge. I'll, I'll tell you how, according to, according to the hadith, right? Because you were right about the beginning. According to the hadith, they will see Allah as clearly and as easily as they see the sun and the moon and the yep. stars. That's what Muhammad says. And then he continues, right? Reading down further, says Allah will come to them in a shape or form, however, form. You, whatever word you want to use, or image. That shape, shape is different thing. They, shape is different. Shape and not, is not the form. Like for, for example, it is. it is. It's it's shape. Yeah. Right here it says shape in so the air. Form, wants to see form, form right will be the shape. right word. Hmm? Form will be the right word. And also well, they, they translated as shape here. Yeah, it's multiple stages, multiple stages on a day of resurrection. 
we'd have seen him the first time. For example, when we, we are meeting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there will be no difficulty because when Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was telling to, uh, to the Muslims and to, to his companions that you will have no, uh, no problem, no problem seeing the Creator. You will see. Can you see this moon? They said yes. So this is the you will have no difficulty understanding him. That is very easy. So on the day of resurrection, we will see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a form which is with how he reveals himself. How he reveals himself right, to okay. so, and but, that form but, but, but the point is here's, but here's, here's my question. But here's my question with that. When he reveals himself in a form, right, on the day of resurrection, is that a form that they've seen before? So I'm not sure about that, but for the first time, that would be for the first time. That's common sense. But I have seen the hadith as well. Uh, hold on. Here is Omar is telling me, look, we would have we would have already seen him. We would have already seen him. Let me just read the so I'll correct the point. I'm not I don't, I don't, just don't want to say the wrong thing. Uh, I'm, I'm somebody here. somebody else muted Omar. I'm like here. That? Who I'm muted here. Omar? Okay. Nobody muted. Yeah, that would be the first time. Well, no, no, actually, actually, it's the second time. So, so, okay. you have, so you have here, like, so for example, Allah appears twice to them. He shows up twice. Okay. It says here, it says, okay. we have Allah, for the first time. No, let, me, let me finish. So the hadith, so you know, it's Sahih Al Bukhari 6573. Okay, I, I want to just see it. Okay. Yeah. So, so it says that Allah will come to them in a shape other than they know. Right, and they will say, or, or I'm sorry, and Allah will say, I am your Lord. Okay. They will say, We seek refuge with Allah from you because Allah appeared to them in a shape that in a form that's unrecognizable to them, they don't know it. So they so they seek refuge. Okay, all right. Then it says, This is our place till our Lord comes to us, and when our Lord comes to us. We will recognize him. Then, I'll, then Allah will come to them in a shape they do know and will say, I am your Lord. They will say, no doubt you are our Lord and they will follow him. So he appears to them twice. The first time they don't recognize him. It's a, it's a form. It's a shape that they don't know that they don't recognize. And so they reject him. But then he comes to them a second time in a form that is recognizable to them. And so they accept him. They say, yes, you are our Lord, right? So my question is, one, how is it that they're able to recognize this? How do they know this form, this shape? Yeah, can you, can you give me the reference? Again? I want to check the reference, then I want to answer the question, okay? Give me the reference. It's uh, Sahih Bukhari. Bukhari? 6573. 65, uh, what? 70, 73, 73. 73. Okay, let me just read it. <clears throat> okay, that's a quite a big hadith. Yeah, it's, it's long. Wow, it's, that's it's, a very big hadith, yeah. Okay, it's, you gotta go, go, go like kind of in like a, a little bit in the middle. You, you'll see where it says, um, after yeah, like, the prophet, talks about they used to worship the sun, they used to worship the moon, they used to worship the false deities, it'll say that. Go right after that part. Then the second time, then the second meeting, they will recognize Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So what's the point there? So my question is, how are they recognizing the form that Allah appears in? So in one, in the first time, they will not understand him. The second time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will also empower them to recognize him. It's not no, because it doesn't say that. It's not that they don't understand him. Is that they don't recognize this him. is the second not familiar time. with how he appears. Yes, for the first time, yeah, no, talking, but the, the second the, time, yes. No, Mansur, listen. Mansur, listen. So we're not talking about perception. We're not talking about, you know, understanding, right? Enlightenment. The hadith simply says that Allah came to them in a in a form that they did not recognize. Yeah, right? the first time. That's the first true. time. So multiple yeah, stages. Time. Yeah, right. Yeah, so he appears stages. twice. One is the first time, right. the second is the second time, right? Right. And so the okay. second time he appears in a form that they do recognize. Mm -hmm. So the hadith says nothing about Allah giving them power to 
be enlightened or to see him and stuff like that. It has nothing to do with that. He is simply appearing to them in, a, in particular forms, one that they don't recognize, one that they do recognize. So my question is, how do these humans who have never seen Allah before, right? They've never seen him before, none of that. This first, you know, they never seen him before. How do they recognize his form, this form that he appears in? Yeah, so there are multiple stages. One is the first stage, another is the second stage. So we would have already seen him. And not is that recognized too hard? him. Yeah, so you would have, you would, that, you would have seen him and not recognized him. Yeah, is that too hard to understand? So multiple stages. One is the first stage, I, another no, is the second we, stage. Are, we already agreed there. My point, my yeah. question is this. My question is when he appears the second time in a form that they do recognize, how do they recognize this form if they've never seen it before? So the point of the matter there would be that we would have seen him for the second time. Multiple stages, first time, second time. Another point is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will also give the power to them. And as the Quran also says that wait, they wait, 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 where, where, where are you getting this from that he gives them the power to to under to recognize the form? Where do you see this in the hadith? Yeah, it is not mentioned in the hadith, but the the main point is that how we would understand if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not empower us, how we would how we would even exist. All the things which are happening. Well, okay, can can I finish? I mean, yes, but the, you're making stuff up. Yeah, so how can I the point is that uh, the first time, the first event is, okay, Omar, I see your comment. Let me just read Omar's comment as well. Uh, we would recognize him because we already saw him in the image previously. I am saying this again and again to him, bro. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm telling I'm, I'm, him again and again. So the first time, what is the first time? Mansour, this is what the people say, bro. Mansour, watch how this doesn't work. They, he said that he said you'll recognize them because you saw the previous image, right? Yeah. The previous image they did not recognize. Yeah, the first time not. The right. Hadith is saying so the first time not. They don't know. But they don't, the other right. times. Pause, pause, pause. Okay, go ahead. He, he appears to them the in the first form, uh -huh. that, and it's a form that they don't recognize. Correct. The first, the Hadith is saying the first time they will not. Okay. So the second, time he, the second time he appears in another logic, form, logic. Come on, sir. Come on. Sir, focus on what I'm asking you. The because first time he appears, the first time he appears, it's a, it's a shape, it's a form that they don't recognize, correct? The first time, the first time of the hadith is saying, it would be. And simply, he, if the hadith is saying image that we recognize the the form other than they know, correct? That's I'm not point. repeating this again and again. Several times here, 531 people, I'm repeating this again and again. No, Mansur, you're not answering my question, bro. Just deal with my question, please, for, for the sake of the discussion. I'm asking you something super specific. Come on, come on, Logic. Come on. I'm asking you something very specific, bro. Come on, come on. So it based on the first thing, I'm losing my voice now. When Allah appears the first time, uh -huh. it's a shape, it's a form that they did not recognize the first time, right? Yes. Okay. Then he shows up in another form that they do recognize, correct? No, no, that is not how it works. The next time Allah subhanahu wa we would have seen him, we would know him. That is, that's why I'm bringing the hadith to you. Wait, 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 wait a second. Allah will come to them in a shape other than they know. Then they will seek refuge against Allah him. will come to them in a shape other than they know and will say, other than they know and will say, I am your Lord. And they will say, we seek refuge with Allah from you. Other than they know, other than they know. So they don't recognize it right there the first time, right? Yeah. The hadith okay. is saying, other so than they know. If they don't recognize it the first time, it's a shape that they did not recognize. Then, and the, a shape next that sentence, then the next sentence says this. They would then have... Allah will come to them in a shape, in a form that they do know. So those two forms that it comes in, one that they don't recognize, the other one that they do recognize. It's two yeah, forms it comes in. 
Yeah, the hadith doesn't say that they don't they didn't recognize the first time. Yes, that they didn't recognize. Here, look, the shame Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Lord look, will come to us and, and we will recognize him. So Other the first time they know. didn't recognize him. Hello, hello, hello. First time is that it, it is in a shape or form that they don't know. And other point in the second time. He is coming, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is coming with a shape and form that they know. So they Good. were freaking so out. How many, so how many shapes? So there are multiple, multiple. There are multiple stages. Hello? Good. Multiple stages. So so how many shapes is that? A shape that they don't know and then a shape that they do know. How many shapes is that? So one shape they don't know other than the other than the shape that they don't know. And a shape that they know. So there are multiple stages, but the key point is that we would have seen him, we would have recognized him. Allah here's, my, here's my question. Here's my, here's my question. Here's multiple my question. Stages. Go ahead. Here's my question. Go ahead. It should be should, should be super super easy. Okay, go ahead, please. He comes in a shape that they don't know, then he comes in a shape that they do know. Yeah. How many shapes is that? So I have to think because it is saying that one shape we would understand and another shape we would not understand. It's simple. It's so it's simple math. Okay, son. You know this. Listen, son. The answer is five. So if Johnny got two apples and his friend gave him three apples, how many apples do he get? Twelve. Well. I listen. I, maybe you ain't hear me. I say the answer is five. Right. So how many shapes is that? One you don't understand. The other you do understand. How many shapes is that? Uh, the shape is still, but one shape is that is still one shape. One shape we would understand, another no. So, how many shapes is that? One you don't recognize, then another you do recognize. How many shapes is that? Only one shape, or well, two shapes, but we would understand one and the other not. Okay, good, good, good. One. So, this, so good. there are, would be shapes. multiple stages. Multiple I got stages. you. I got you. I yeah, understand. Multiple stages. I got you. One shape we would understand, but Allah is only one. Allah is it's not making a lot too. That's look, it is making a lot too. Like that. No worries, no worries. I, I got you. I got shape, you. So he comes. We I got another you. shape. We would not. I got you. So he comes in two it shapes. Is not making, it is not making a lot too. I got I, is, I, I'm not saying that. Omar, Omar. I know, I know, I Omar, know, I know, I know this. Bro, 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 I know this. It is not making a lot too. <laughs> one shape, the same Allah. The same Allah, one shape we wouldn't understand, and another shape we would not understand. How is that hard? Okay, I, 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 we're on the same page. I'm not saying that this makes Allah too. I'm not saying that, okay? Yeah. So all, all we all we all we recognize now is that there's two shapes that Allah appears in. Beautiful. Few moments later. Yeah, go ahead. If Allah wanted to, yep. if Allah wanted to, could he appear in a human form? Yes or no? That belongs to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which has not been revealed to us. If Allah Did willed you? it again, again. If Allah willed it, could he take on the form of a human, appear in the form of a human, yes I, or no? Again, it has not it has not been revealed to us. So it is not a yes or no question. Wait, wait, wait. Are there wait, limits wait, 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 to are there limits to Allah's will? Are there what? Are there limits to Allah's will? So to the will of Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has only his own divine will. So it belongs is to it, the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But it, it is not it is not said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has different wills that he's is, changing. I didn't ask that. I asked, yeah. is his will limited, bro? Like why did you answer a straight question? Is unlimited. his will limited? That is yes or no? Uncreated, unlimited. Uncreated, okay, unlimited. Thank you. Yes. So if Allah willed, could he could he take on a human form? Yes or no? If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala willed, so could he take in the, the human form or not? Has not been revealed to us in the text. Oh my gosh, you are that refusing is, to answer this it question. It has not been revealed to us. It has not been revealed to us. Come on, bro, you know this. It has not been revealed. It's something that's not been revealed. Mansoor, 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 Manso